this is Anna from the Blind with a Vision YouTube channel and here at the season convention with guess who? Amutex. Everyone sends questions about why canes and Amutex, especially people from Central and South America who always message me wanting to know about why canes and what is the best option. So we have what is your name? Hello, my name is Laura. I work with Amutex. I've been working with Amutech for just over 10 years. Wow. <laughs> so tell us about Amutech. Um, Amutech is a company that specializes in the canes and the tips. Uh, what we believe is that everyone has a different life and that we should be able to supply different canes that match your life and all the different things you want to do with it. So we're actually the most worldwide distributor of canes. We also have the widest selection of canes as well as tips. And you know, one of the questions is, um, I always get the question, what is the best cane? What kind of, you know, what kind of canes do they have? That's a good question. So I'll kind of just go over like our five basic canes if that's okay with you. Five? Five different ones? I would say that we have, well, we'll start with the mobility canes. So with the mobility canes, we have um, aluminum, graphite, and fiberglass. Aluminum is great for cost, but it does bend if you bang it too many times. So um, it's great for cost, not as good for durability. Graphite is our most expensive. It is super lightweight and it is very strong. And then for people that really tend to get into quick traffic jams, they tend to break their canes over and over again, we have fiberglass, it's double walled, so it's a little heavier, but it's, it lasts through anything. I've never seen one of those uh, a break on the go. And then those are our mobility canes, and then we also have our lighter canes. So we have our classic ID canes, thin and aluminum, and then we have a hybrid. So it's made out of graphite, but it's just as thin and light as an um, aluminum cane. But the difference with it is it's springy, it's very durable. So if you were to run into something, it wouldn't snap or break or bend. And then you can get the different tips for it as well. May I see the first one? Actually touch it? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so I can feel, I actually have my graphite. You cane. have your graphite cane. Uh -huh. So this is the super yeah. thick, th super strong uh, fiberglass cane. So this is fiberglass. Yeah, and that's practically indestructible. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've never uh, seen this one. Mm -hmm. So this is for those terrains that. Yeah, if you're like, doing I, I, hiking, if you're, you're going for going people mountain, from Central and South America who yeah. they say they, their yeah. canes break yeah. very easily because of the terrain where they live. Uh, so yeah. this would be one would that is. That. And this is. Um, What's the material you said? This one's fiberglass and it's fiberglass. double walls, so it's a little But thicker. it's actually very light. Yes. It is light. It's not quite as light as our graphite canes, but it is lighter than the aluminum canes. And you can add the rolling tip as well. Yeah, so right now it just has a simple pencil tip on it, but we sell it in the slip-on or the hook style and all of our tips fit onto it. So you guys, this is... Um, Showing it for anyone that has low vision, it's actually pretty, it feels pretty good. I feel the, I like the texture. Well, that I have on it right now is, you felt it a couple of times, but up here is a key light. What is it? So it attaches on and off, it's a light, and it actually lights up your cane at night. Really? So all of our canes, uh, if they have the tape on it, it's reflective, but you're not always in a place that has street lights or cars. So this creates the light and it will light up your cane as you're walking down the street at night. And this works with any cane? It works with any of our canes. It comes with three different size clips. I did feel that it was clip on it. It's under the handle. And what is this called again? Uh, that is our Ferro's cane light. Fer Ferro? Ferro's cane light? Uh, Ferro's. Yeah. How much is this? That retails around $17 American. I'm taking one, you guys. <laughs> I'm taking one. I love it. Oh my gosh. So it likes the cane, so when we're out there in the dark, wow. And then the nice parts about it is it does clip on and off easily. So you don't have to have it on your cane all the time. You can just clip it on at, light, at nighttime. It sells with the three different clips that fit onto our three different size canes. Mm -hmm. The bottom, I'll take it that one. If you want to hold the light. So the bottom here, mm -hmm. that's where you twist it and turn it on and off. Okay. And Is it off right now? It's on right now. Okay, so under the actual line, my nails are not. Is it over here? <laughs> yeah, here. So what we do is, are you left or right hand? Right, right hand. Okay, so right here, you would twist 
twist it left or right. Oh, you so twist it. Okay. Yeah, twist. Oh, sorry. I don't want to wreck your nails. No. Your nails. There we go. So it twists on and off. And then on the other side, there's a cap, and you twist it on and off the same way, and it's rechargeable with the USB. All rechargeable. Wow. Rechargeable. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe this, is, but that, this is such a great idea to clip this on your cane whenever you're out there. Yeah. I remember when I went to school at nighttime for years. I would have loved to have one, one of these. <laughs> you know, we were talking about the different kinds of canes. Yeah. I'm going to this one. This is our half and half. So it's not full mobility. So it's not necessarily great for everyday use out in the rugged, but it's good for if you're just going on and off buses. If you oh, have. I love this one. It's the Ivy cane, right? It's, an, it's, it's a half and half. So half it's, and half? Yeah, it feels very steady. It is, and um, it's very flexible, it? very strong. So it's good for like around the office, if you're going to a place with a companion where you don't need a big old model, it's on your phone, and it's very small, so it fits on your office, and there's a lot of purses in that house. And it comes to the wrong people, you have this on Um Well, you can pick, we have uh, several different tips. This one takes eight different kinds of tips, and so you would just choose which tip you wanted at Eight different types. Yes, that's, that's a pretty good tip. This, actually, the thick nails feels like a pencil, like thin. Honestly, it's like a pencil. It's very light. And it's fiberglass as well? That's graphite. What is it? A graphite. Graphite, yeah. yeah. Wow. How much are these? Those retail between uh, $30 and $40, depending on what tip you get. Wow. Honestly, you guys, I'm taking one of these. <laughs> I love. I love this one. I always say that those are great for someone that is going blind with low vision. Yeah, and like, they're going through the whole white candy denial syndrome. That, that, that is pretty good for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is because a lot of people don't want to have the white candy. I went through the whole embarrassment of having to use a cane. <laughs> There's been a few people in my life who don't start them off with that type of game. It is a great start to me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what else? Um, and then we were talking about if you want something just for identification, there's all just all the different ways. So it's not meant to really be used to things, but um, it's meant to just hold up. Oh, so, this is, so the other one is not an ID thing. Is this graphite as well? That's aluminum. That would be meant if you were walking close to it and you hit something. So it's more to help you with like depth perception, going up and down stairs, holding it at bus stops so the driver knows to stop and tell you what bus it is. This is very thin, you guys. This is the ID cane. So the other one was not an ID cane. She said it was half and half. So this ID cane is actually very thin, very light. Perfect, yeah. This, this is like when you're holding on to someone yeah. doing the side of guys. How much is this? Are these ones? Uh, those just by itself. Just by itself, maybe just under twenty dollars. Under twenty dollars. Yeah. Wow, this is perfect. And then we have the number of different types. And I guess one of your things I'm going to show you is have you heard about no job cane yet? What is it? A no job cane? No. So a lot of people they find, especially when they're new and they're learning, or depending on where they're going out and about, is they run into things and it jabs them in the arms and in the wrists or in the cut. So that one, if you want to push down on it, it has a shock absorber. So when you run into something like a curb or a building, you'll see, it's not going to hurt your wrist, it's not going to hit you in the gut as much. What is this called again? No job. No job? Yeah, because here we, we call it, you get job when you hit yourself. So, uh, it's no job. I mean, just to describe for my blind subscribers, is the king with the, this thing on the top, and if I push it down, it just... It goes down. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, because sometimes you're just walking and it gets yeah. stuck on your chest. Or, uh, and is this graphite as well? That is graphite. graphite. Okay. Just the okay, that's perfect. Are people using this a lot? Yes, um, it is a price for your cane. It retails closer to $80. $80. And it is leather, real leather on the handle as well. And it's a bright red color. What color is this? It's like a, a very bright red. Yeah. Wow. So it's a handle and it just pushes down, I guess, to protect your chest or from. Wow, that's, that's great. 
I love the new inventions, the new updates. You know, we're trying to, people always have different yeah. questions and different requests. Yeah. It might take us a couple of years, but we always try and uh, come up with a solution. Yeah. Is, is that it? Oh, no, there's lots of different things. Uh, do you ever go to some place with a lot of sand? Uh, when I go to Mexico, I guess it's a little. Yeah, do you find that when you go to the beach, it digs in? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the one you're holding right now, you go to the other end, it's called a Dakota disc. It was designed... Dakota? Dakota disc. Dakota so, disc, yeah. If you want, I can hold your cane and you can try that out on the ground. So what it's designed to do, because it's lightweight and so spread out, it actually just floats right on top of sand. Uh, gravel, it was designed for kids that play on playgrounds, on the big gravel. It's great in snow if you're in colder weather. I it, honestly didn't know you guys had all of this. This is pretty new. No, uh, we've had that for at least 10 years. 10 years. Wow, that's yeah. this. You have the white, the white thing, you guys, and on the, on the, under the teeth, it has this kind of like a disc, kind of like, well, how would I describe this? Uh, a picture like the top of a hamburger, the band on the top, <laughs> facing up, and it is kind of soft, I don't know. Plastic? Is it plastic? Or? It's plastic, but it's hollow on the inside. It's it hollow light. on the inside, yeah. yeah. So, so just like when you go to something, like to the beach, <laughs> you can show it. I'm, oh yeah, I'm using it on the carpet. And yeah, this is perfect. Oh. So this is. You, can you attach this to any cane, or this is specific for this cane? You can attach it to any hook style cane. Okay. So it does not work with a silicone. Um, you would have to, you'd have to adjust the style. Yeah. Yeah. So it works yeah. with any of our next style. Okay. Wow. That's perfect. Thank you. And then something that we don't have out yet, it's currently in development, so I'm quite excited for, is I'm going to hand it to you upside down. So this is going to be our new roller ball. So it spins, so it spins left to right, but it also spins forward. Wow, a new, new uh, rolling tip coming up, huh? What is this going, this is called? This is going to be called their 360 tip, and we're hoping to have it in, uh, in the next year. 360 tip, look. So compared to other tips, it's a lot less resistance, because it has that forward motion as well. So it moves forward and to the side, huh? Like, Wow. I'm trying to think of what else. Well, I mean, here's a tip that just is very popular overseas. So what it is is it's called a flex tip, and it's a hip joint. What so is it called? A flex tip. Flex tip, and, and it attaches with a hip joint. So try to twisting the tip back and forth. Like uh, bending it side to side. Yeah, so it's meant for places that have a lot of cracks. It won't get stuck in the cracks. While you're moving forward, it just kind of skips over top of them. So how do you call this again? That's a flex tip. How do you spell that? F L E X. Oh, the flex. Yeah, flex tip. Yeah, it is flexible. It's a like kind of like a circle round, like a little tiny tire, and it's just it's flexible. My Spanish speaking people, this black people would love to hear this in Spanish. Yeah, but is, uh, this is perfect. So, this is the one that you think that is half and half? Yes. I love your nails, by the way. They're very pretty. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Wow. I'm fascinated, as you can tell. Spanish. You asked me what is new, but I can keep going through all of the items. Yeah? Very new. And about the, what about the rolling tips? They always ask. What's the best one? You guys have like diversity of tips. We have we have a very big variety of tips. Okay. Wow! So look, so you put your hands out. So everything on the the top two tiers are the stationary, but the bottom two tiers are things that roll. So there's all different kinds of tips. So all the ones on the bottom they have different shapes, different sizes with the bearings in them. Uh, so there is um, she's showing me all the uh, tips for anyone that is totally blind. It's this little 
fun of how do you call this? I don't know. They just tip display tree. The tip display, yeah, it has all kinds of rolling tips. These are huge. Yeah, so they are huge, but again, then people like them in places where it's a lot of grass or it has light gravel, uh, dirt roads, it doesn't get stuck, it kind of glides right over. You're not in the direct route. Wow. I know. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then so we also sell the ball tip as one of our most popular. So we have it in the white or the red. Because depending where you live, the different colors stand out more. And then we also have it where the bottom half is made with high density. So it lasts about 60% longer because of that high density material. I will share these on my YouTube channel. Is that okay? Of course. Line with, line with a vision. And yeah, is it okay? We can oh. take, if I take some photos, yeah. please do. Yeah. Thank you. So I can post on my Instagram. Thank you guys. Bye.